we can have more functionalities here like to a, a button to create another list if not exists probably you can have some kind of uh, viewing to the list or a link to a page to view all the books inside the list but it's not my point point here i just want to show you how to use an oj dialog i also want to show you how you can create a composite with several components inside being object components or even just a plain html components or tags and you can build a really really big and strong component where you interact with it with um, events giving it attributes and so on of course when you save that you can also change the color of that so you can for example in the here you can give it let me think like a binding to the style dot color equals let's put uh, art color i don't know just name and it will be an observable so let's duplicate that if it is initialized as null it will put something there yeah and let me try to change it when we <clears throat> when you save the list so you do the close and be right before closing you can change the color let's put red but just to test so you press there you save and nothing happened because i missed something there probably i guess i want to try with i guess it, it is dash s oh it is putting in the wrong place that's why i didn't see that so Okay, so apparently I can change that this way. Let me try. We will have the ID. There will be the heart. Dash. And then the properties book and here inside the custom model we will also get the part dash this dot context dot properties dot book id and we change dot style dot color it will be red uh, this isn't let me try if it will work so close i want this to be red style dot color is not a function okay it should be equals to red let's try again so let's press here and save so as you saw and let me refresh the page when we press this button to open the hand to list and press the save it is not this heart there is being filled with the red color but the first one and why it is simply because we are defining the dialogue inside our custom book view what is the problem every time we are creating a new custom book we are defining the dialogue so if you look for the id we have eight eight dialogues one for each custom book and that will break the code it will change only the first one that it finds okay so we need to be careful with that and now we need to refactor our code 
so we can um, really put this as we should so here we have the charts in the few models we can add here the dialogues dialogues and also inside the views a folder to the dialogues and let's put there the um, a new file that is the favorites dot html dialog and the same inside the dialogues inside the view models the favorites dot gs okay so let me copy all of the custom view model and replace the the name with favorites dialog what we will need inside we will need uh, the context will be needed uh, uh the on click is not from here add to card is not so we need to save to close in the before close the id then we need that these two are not from here the observables should be there the had to card and had to list will be deleted the on click as well okay so now we need to grab the dialog html declaration put that here let's split favorites for this side and what we want we want to load that in our books so we will have here the oj module tag let me grab that from the dashboard html so and inside the books <clears throat> just put that okay so dialogue sorry for that we will load the favorites dialogue that will be defined here in the books uh, we can delete all of that and you need variables equals to something and where the i guess in the dashboard yes so we have an example right here uh -huh. and it will be dialogues and then favorite favorites yeah and we also need the declaration of that after the knockout so we can load the module and we need to give it some parameters let me open the html the um, favorites here so we will receive the id okay the id can be set there the labels as well uh the data can be set there for no we will receive the data context context uh -huh. so we need observable sorry it observables will receive the context so this this data will be loaded right there we will put that here in the f here we will receive the context 
dot list data. So we will receive the data from the books model. Uh -huh. The ID we will receive that as well. And inside the books, we will add the init IDs. So Okay, so we are defining that. We need to send that. And what we also need is the context here. So we have that and okay. The heart color will not be there. That will be the Art color will be a property, so you can change that property. So we'll have another property in our component the here the books art color. This is a silly example, okay. It will be a string art color. Um, it will be knockout dot observable with a string dot observable. Okay, art color in our books and equals. Item dot data dot art color and when we receive the data from the books we will also have const book source book source equals to data from service dot map And basically, we'll receive a book. And put there a book dot art color equals to an account observable of null. And we give it there. When we when we have this function executed, it will be not there, but we will have okay, we can still have added to list to open the dialog document dot get element my id dot this dot uh, favorites dialog id dot open so we open the dialog he here there from here we need to delete this and I'll close dialog this one had to list will dispatch 
see the add to list event and the params uh, can be the book ID, for example, list data and remove that. Save, close, and favorites, and this one. Or close. So let me see how many errors I have after all this refactoring. Okay, when I pressed it, it's still opening. And when I press save, this element is undefined.